Hey guys, it's Maria Cassanda, aka No Goat Girl, and today I'm super excited to share with you a sneak preview of what I'm going to be demonstrating at the Food and Culinary Expo in Philadelphia at the Oak Center, just in case you're in the area. So today I'm just showing you a little a little behind the scenes action. Next week I plan on posting a full video of the recipe. It is a crispy skin salmon with a charred corn and pineapple salsa. Right now I'm going to give you a little hint about what the pineapple salsa is all about. So stick with me for a few minutes and let's have some fun. Alright, so first things first, we're going to get the hot cookery out of the way so we can allow it to cool before mixing it with the cold stuff. So I'm going to melt just a little bit of organic butter in this pan and it's going to give the corn a nice sweet buttery flavor. It's only about two tablespoons so in a whole batch of salsa that's not very many fat calories. Also we're going to be charring these onions on my grill pan. It's a little too cold here today to be using the grill but if you're lucky enough to have warmer weather you certainly can use a real grill too. We're going to just let those go for a little bit and we're going to let them get some nice char marks. Alrighty, I think this pan is heated up quite a bit. Going to add the corn. And we'll see what that looks like in a few minutes. Okay, so here we have some beautifully caramelized onions made on a grill cast iron pan. Like I said, if you have a real grill going, go ahead and feel free to do that. It's just a little too chilly here today. Spring is being a little shy. So I'm just gonna slice these on up. Okay, okay now comes the fun part. We get to put everything together. Here we have the grilled onions that I actually minced up. I like them minced very finely. I don't like big chewy onions in my mouth, so. Okay. All right, and here we have the corn that's been charred over the stove in butter. Not too much butter. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. All right, and here I have rainbow cherry tomatoes that I actually concassade, and what that means is I blanch them so in uh, boiling water for 10 seconds, and then I submerge them in ice water, and then I just peel the skin off. That's a really easy way to get the skin off. In fact, I will show you next week in my video how to do that a little bit more in detail. So I peeled the skin off the tomatoes, I squeezed out some of the seeds, and I just blended them up in a food processor because I like more of a, um, I don't like a real chunky salsa. Um, the pineapple will add some chunks, but I also pulverized this a few times just to get it chopped up finely. Um, when you're doing a big batch of salsa and you're short on time, it's easier to just use the food processor method. So I'm going to add the, go ahead and add the pineapple with all of its juices. I'm going to add the tomatoes. Okay. And then here, what I have is chili pepper and adobo sauce. And guys, this is really spicy, so if you really don't like spice, you can completely just not use this. However, you're going to be missing out on a really nice smoky flavor that the adobo sauce contributes because it's, um, you know, if you like Chipotle and that smoky flavor that they have in their meats, this is a very similar flavor to that because it's adobo, which is Chipotle. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put the whole thing in. Nah, I'll put half in. I'm going to play it safe today. And then, for an extra tang, I'm going to squeeze some limes in there. I'm squeezing the juice of one lime because we're already going to get a nice tanginess from the tomatoes and the pineapple. And now we're just going to add a few tablespoons of cilantro. Um, this again is optional, not everybody likes cilantro, so you can just do that at your own discretion. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the tomatoes. It adds a really nice flavor. And 
And even though the pineapple is already sweet, I like to give it a little drizzle of honey. I just think it gives a really nice flavor with the lime. And then we're just going to kind of toss this all together. Now that I have everything all mixed together, I'm going to fill it up in an adorable chili pepper bowl. Now, you can use this on chicken. You can use this to dip with um, natural tortilla chips. You could use it pretty much on any meat. I mean, this would go well on anything because it has the sweet, it has the savory. It would really complement a pork loin well, seasoned with a little brown sugar and chili powder. But next week, I am going to demonstrate salmon for you guys. And I'm going to give a second tutorial on how to make your salmon skin extra crispy. So here we have the charred corn and pineapple salsa. And I tried it and I must say it is extra delicious. And I feel confident giving this recipe to you guys to enjoy at your homes. Thank you for staying with me for another episode of No Guilt Girl. And I'll catch you later. Don't say it's too late to try the wolf's tears and check your vital signs now. I'm